VPs at the $50 million ad campaign backfire, luxury nuclear apocalypse bunkers, and Planet 100 attends a select field World Ocean Day event in Los Angeles. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Wednesday, June 9th. Talk about foot and mouth disease a week after British Petroleum CEO Tony Hayworth said he just wanted his life back. He's under fire again for an untimely $50 million ad campaign. The ad which began appearing last week has been criticised by President Barack Obama and Gulf residents who said the money should be spent on cleanup efforts and on compensating fishermen and small business owners who have lost their jobs. One government official said BP's best advertising is fixing the leak and cleaning everything up. Now, here's Damien Somerset with Wacky Wednesday. Thank you, Sarah. Over at Shift Logic, FizzGig submitted a Newslight story about a US company building luxury bunkers for the apocalypse. So, what are these bunkers actually gonna protect you from? How about super volcanoes, mega tsunamis, killer comets, or any major catastrophe? And as you can see, they're stylishly furnished and come with computers, I guess for updating your Facebook status. I guess. Unfortunately, you have to dig deep in the Vivos website to find any people of color. Really, Vivos? I don't know if you noticed, but too many white people ain't a good thing. Come on, we're talking about repopulating the earth here. We gotta have some genetic diversity. Okay, okay, yes, I'm basically saying we have to reserve a space for Rosario Dawson and Gabrielle Union. What? It's for the future of the species. Thanks, Damien. And finally, the stars came out in LA last night to celebrate World Oceans Day. Co-hosted by Nautica, Oceana and GQ, the event seeks to make our oceans as rich, healthy and abundant as they were in our grandparents' youth. Yes, those were the days where men wore one-piece bathing suits. <sighs> That's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.